In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to clinically clear the cervical spine and remove a collar. I call this the 4x4 technique. There are four different major components, and they are making sure that it's okay to take the collar off. Number two is explaining what's going to happen to the patient. Number three is actually doing the examination, and that has four components as well. And then finally, the documentation part, making sure that it's uh, well documented so that everybody else who sees that patient will know that the collar should indeed be off. So, let me just start. Step one is making sure that it's okay to take the collar off. If you have obtained any x-rays, it's important at this point to make sure that you've seen the reports, read the reports, uh, reviewed the films yourself if that's appropriate so that you know that it's safe to take it off. There are some patients who can be clinically cleared alone and they do not need x-rays, and in that case, uh, just making sure that they meet the criteria that you use for uh, that type of clearance are done. So, number two is explaining it to the patient. So, first of all, I just introduced myself. Tracy, I'm Dr. McGonigal. I'm going to be working on getting this collar off of you here this afternoon. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front of it off. I'm going to feel the back of your neck. I want to push on all the bones there. And what I want you to tell me is if there is any pain whenever I push on the bones right up and down the middle. Now, sometimes people will have some discomfort on the muscles right along the sides of their spine, and if you do, that's okay. Let me know about it, but I'm really interested in pain right over those bones, right up and down the middle. Once I've done that, I'll have you move your head and neck in a couple of different directions, and again, at any point, if you feel any pain in the back of your neck, stop me and tell me about it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take the front off. And so the first thing that I'll do is just check right up and down the back middle of your neck. Do you have any pain at all here in the middle? So I go up and down. Okay. Next step, what I'm going to have you do is to try to touch your chin down to your chest. Just bend it all the way forward slowly. Again, telling me if you have any pain or tenderness back there. No. Okay. While her neck is forward, what I'm going to do is remove the back of the collar so we can do the next part. Okay. You can go ahead and lay your head back. Next, I'm going to have you try to look up at the ceiling and actually try to look at the wall behind you. Again, any pain or tenderness back here? No. Okay, very good. Back to normal. Step three of this part is to rotate the neck completely, left and right. So what I'd like you to do is look over at that wall over on that side. Any pain? No. Okay. And now look back over your right shoulder as far as you can. Pain or tenderness? No. All right, back to neutral position. And then the final thing that we do is compression. So I'm going to actually put my hands up here push down. Do you feel any pain in your neck when I do that? No. Okay. So we can leave the collar off. I've clinically cleared it. The final stage now is to sit down with your electronic record or your paper chart and very specifically write that you have clinically and or radiographically cleared the cervical spine. And once you've done that, your job is done. Thank you very much.